baby in the womb. When she went, she did everything to con to con to con to convince my mother. Thank God, my mother was not yet born again, but she had the fear of the Lord. She now remember, she said, no, I know the way this child came in my womb. And I will never cut off her destiny. Whatever God says it shall must be, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I was then born in Dwala. Amen. To cut the story short. Because after I was born, many things happened. This, my sister that, that, that prayed for me, she became blind. Blind. The two eyes. She, she fell down and began to shake like this, you know that kind of sickness, ability foam will be coming out from the mouth. The Lord used it to, to change the life of my parents. And after that, when my parents gave the man, the reason why my father gave his life to Jesus is that he went to a church, they prayed for, the, for, for my sister, she received a sight. So the sight brought revival in my family. That is when my father gave his life to Jesus. And after my father gave his life to Jesus, the enemy attacked me. I was the one that was blind with one eye. But the Lord now used my father to pray for me and the blindness disappeared. We don't have time. But I just want to tell you that Satan tried so many times to cut off my life. But God did not give him the opportunity. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord was waiting for this moment. The Lord was protecting me for this moment. So that I will be here delivering the message to you. At the age of six, between six and eight, I cannot say the exactly age. Hallelujah. Amen. Something happened in my life. Yes. From the time my father gave his life to Jesus, I was, he was training me in the fear of the Lord. But that night, as I was sleeping, dreaming my sleep, the Lord God opened my eyes. My room that was totally dark because he could not let me sleep because of the light. My room that was in total darkness changed so that he I said, is it, is it real? Is it possible? At my young age, I asked myself, I never seen this. A ladder will come down from heaven because it looks real. It was as if I was away because I could see myself in my bed. I was looking. Then suddenly, I saw our Lord Jesus Christ coming out from heaven using that same ladder. He came and he stood. He said to me, Claire and do. If you read and obey my word, look at what I will give to you. As our Lord Jesus Christ was speaking, the words of his mouth were breathing on the word. Hallelujah. Amen. When he said, Andun, I will see Andun on the word. If you read my word, it will appear on the word. If you read and obey my word, look at what I will do to you. It has shown me a big white city. Beautiful. My dear sister, I have traveled. I have gone with, I can say the fact that I've not been in this and uh, Syria where they are killing Christians. But I went in many countries. I have not seen such a beautiful country. But the Lord gave me a condition for you to go there. You must read my word. Hallelujah. Amen. At that small age, God introduced himself to me. God introduced them what he wants to do with me. But I did not understand. Hallelujah. Because I was still a child. Amen. Amen. So that's what happened? So, as was from that time, God began to use me in a way that even me, I don't understand. The Lord will be showing me what He will do with me in the future. I even went and see my mama 
has told me what is happening with me, I don't understand myself. I will see myself, I will enter the mortuary. As I enter the mortuary, all the dead people in the mortuary will rise up. And I will see myself, I am laying down on the bed, under the bed, dead people. As long as I lay down in that bed, all the dead people will rise up. As they rise up, they will be singing praise to the Lord and following me. Multitude of people. The Lord was using me in a stretch way. If you are sick, I will just lay my hand and say, in the name of Jesus, be healed and you will be healed. That is how God used me. But, what happened, my dear sister? It got to a time, Satan, because Satan never gave up. He missed the opportunity when I was sick in the mother's womb. He used many opportunities to destroy me. Now that I am a teenager, he began to show me the things of the world. You know, I have a beautiful voice. And then he began to open where, you know, opportunity. After I graduated as a nurse, I told my father, this is what you want for me. You want me to be a nurse. Now I have finished. I have a graduation. I'm not even going to take it. Go and take it. Now, time has come. I want to do what I want to do. That is when I began to smoke. I began to sing in pubs. I began to prostitute myself. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12, it says, there is a way which is right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of you will not delay in the name of Jesus. You will not go astray from the will of God in the name of Jesus. I was a tough stubble. When I backslide, my mother cried. My father, my father is a military. One day he took God. He said, if I have to go to hell because of this child, I will. I will kill her and go to hell. Because I brought a shame into my life. Imagine my father that is an elder in the church. They will tell you, we saw your daughter dead, almost naked. They will be showing me on television. My father will sit and watch me in television. I'm dancing on godly music like that. My father was crying. My mother was crying. And Satan was happy. Do you know what Satan made me to become? I signed up to be one of the best nightclubs in Duala. I, I am the first musician in Cameroon that signed contract in the pub. This wise man was paying me very heavily. He gave me a house, a driver, everything. He crippled my salary. We sit and see what God wants to do in your life. You will go and come to cut it off. Oh, Jesus, I surrender early. Oh, he said, Abba. I 
did it. I landed in Holland. Set up, prepare a, 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 a very wealthy man for me. This man, the day he met me on the road, he presented himself to me. He said, Today, whatever you ask me, I will give you. This man gave me what is money. The best casino in Amsterdam. Whenever I enter inside that casino with that man, everybody respect us. That man will just touch the casino like this, and money will be flowing. He told me, I will give you all you want, only if you join my secret society. You see how Satan was trying to divert what God wants to do for me? He said, give me the love of your dad. That time my dad was still in Africa. He said, name anything you want. I will give it to you. Me, Allah, spoke to him and said, look, if you tell my dad that you are not a Christian, he will never take your gift. So let us lie to him that you are a child of God. <laughs> so the two of us will lie to my dad. My dad did it. And then my dad said, what I want is the latest Mercedes. But I thank God for my life. I escaped. I ran away. Hallelujah. Up to now, that man is looking for me. <laughs> he will take my picture, go and see people. He said, this is my wife. Please, name any amount you want. Just tell me where she is. I am looking for her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for my life. Now, instead of, because before I vaccinated, the Lord will, will visit me many times. I remember the day he brought me to heaven. And he showed me my garment. He showed me my crown. He showed me my mansion. He said, your time has not come. Go back. That was when I vaccinated. Before I vaccinated. But when I vaccinated, Satan now took over my life. I began to see strange things. There is this particular man that was just there near me. In black. The face is dark. It that man smelled dead. Even when, when I'm alone, lying on my bed, I begin to choke my neck. And if you are around me, you will see how my, my body is shaking like this. My mother was pain. My mother will gather the women. They will be fasting for me. I call my mom and say, Mom, what is wrong with me? Am I a normal child? She says, Shh, all I know. Don't tell me what you do. Keep it for yourself. Hey, Hear yeah. yeah, you know. I, I, and as I was singing in pop, and I began to rent college, university. I will rent this university to do prostitution. I will not pick some girls that will be working with me. I slept with any kind of man. Rich, poor, even sick people. One day a man came, this man do not have, he has one leg. You know, and this area here, yeah, there is a sack, there is a bag. When the bag is urinating, he goes into that bag. The man came like this. You know? And the man slept with me. I slept even with women. Women will be will be weed in my mouth. I will be drinking the weed. Sometimes a white man will come. And he said, look, you know these white men, they practice a lot. They are into darkness. He came and said, look, I don't want to sleep with you. All I want, I want water split. What is water split? The man will lay down, and then he will go and eat with his mouth. And then he will give you a big amount of money. That was my life. I went and now to tattoo. You can see tattoo here. That 
that is a note of the music because I was singing in book. Tattoo on my leg. Those are the marks of my past life. Tattoo here. 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 I want people to know who I am. I was not a friend of anyone. You cannot even preach the gospel to me. Only the look at, uh, uh, on my face, you will run away. I was smoking like a mad girl. Before I finish one cigarette, another one is wasted. I was dead. I was so skinny until one day I listened to the testimony of Daniel Ejibu. Let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. That night I was not sitting in my parlor waiting for my time to go operate at night. You know, I will never sit down in front of a TV to watch Christian channel. From where? From where? But that day, I don't know what happened. My mother has been praying for me. My mother will be fasting for me. My mother died without seeing me born again. My mother, even when I came to, you know, the last call I had with my mom, she begged me, she said, my daughter, Live that way what life. Give your life to Jesus. Stop it. After how many years? It was that night God answered my mother's prayer. I was watching Daniel Kijuki. I don't know where I fell on the floor. I was with me. The Lord opened my eyes. And I remember what he revealed to me when I was just a child. And I remember how God visited my family. How God healed my sister from blindness. How God took away blindness from my left hand. I remember I was crying. The next day, I looked for a Bible. See me in Dublin looking for a church. Looking for a church on a Wednesday morning. My dear sister, when you, when you see somebody that's giving his life to Jesus, you don't need to ask. People, they say, and you don't know that guy has, has become born again. She's mad, eh? She doesn't want big Bible like this. If I see you, I will say, look, they cry you, you yesterday, I said, I'm not, I'm not born again. Yeah? A woman said to somebody, if it's a clear I know until I see, if I don't see it, I will not believe. Because the clear I know that woman never smoke okay. The clear I know will never become a holy woman. The clear I know is the worst sinner in the world. She can never become a child of God. But this is me. <laughs> Something happened to me. Remember when you give your life to when you are not with Jesus, you are zero. You can have money, but because you don't have Jesus, you are dead. The day I gave my life to Jesus, during that week, something happened to me. I was sleeping, and then I saw myself going into a deep ocean. I left my clothes, my, my the dirty cloth that was on me in that ocean. And I came out like a newborn baby. And I was just saying, thank you, Jesus. That was what Jesus said to Nicodemus in the book of John chapter 3, verse 3. Let's read. John chapter 3, verse 3. The Bible, Jesus said to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I said unto thee, Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 
Complete Holiness Broadcasting Network. CHBN on my TV cable network on the Hosanna platform with evangelist Claire and Dune Atongo from the hours of 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. every Monday from the 14th of November 2016. It is a must watch as you get lifted with inspirational music and entertaining dramas and also get updated with news from around the globe. You can't afford to miss the prayer time with evangelist Claire and Dune Atongo. Get inspired. Get lifted get informed and remain rapturable on chbn preparing the church for heaven in complete holiness god has written a book for me but i was delaying it in 2009 after two years 2011 jesus appeared That is why the title of the message today is The Great Deception in the Church. The Great Deception in the Church. My conversion was genuine. And I decided to go into three day fasting. Seeking more God in my life. I wanted God to transform me totally. I wanted God to change my life totally. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus decided to visit me. So, my dear brother, before I share all that God has revealed to me, before I tell you this message, the purpose why God created me. I want to tell you this. I love everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. What the message I will give to you in my sound harsh. Because some people say I'm very harsh. In my sound critical. Do you understand? But I will speak the truth. Whether you like it or not. You know, the truth is sometimes harsh. Remember when Jesus Christ was speaking against the religious rulers? The tone of his voice was with anger. You remember when he went and chased out, you know, Jesus. May the Lord open your ear to hear 
May it open the eyes of your understanding. And from today, the same God that has changed me will also transform your life in Jesus' name.
make it. And I woke up. And said, ah, ah, what is that nakedness? Half naked. I began to cry for myself. I said, Jesus, anything that's in me, if I'm among all these Christians that are dead in your church, oh God, they move. The Lord now made me understand what cause, what is causing the nakedness. There is a great deception. Children of God of God are waiting for the return of Christ, but half naked. Everybody is aware that we are in the end time. Everybody knows, even the old believer knows that something is about to happen. All the churches know that our Lord Jesus Christ is at the door. But they are waiting for the return of Christ half naked. Some of them are even praying, God, Jesus, come quick. Are you ready? Are you ready to see? Somebody said to me, it's not possible. How can in your whole Nigeria only one Christian? It's not possible. And then I took them, I took the case of Noah. In the days of Noah, how many people were saved? How many? Eight. The gates of Sodom and Gomorrah. How many people were saved? How many? Now, compare the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and this generation. If at the days of Sodom, only Lot and his two children and the wife were saved, if the wife was destroyed. How much more this wicked, perverse, crooked, immoral, stubborn, rebellious generations? There is a great deception that, is ent that has entered the church. The church is naked, half naked, half salvation. Belong to the world, this area belong to, to God. The Bible says you cannot serve two. You if you if you serve two master, you will hate one and that's the problem of the church today. They want to force God. They want to force God. There will be sin in the church. And they want Jesus to accept them that way. I began to pray. I told God, Jesus, that thing that is causing nakedness in the church, show to me. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 9, it says, A little living, that living the whole, take away the little foxes. Jesus has come to rescue us. Amen. He said 
to Peter that I will build my church and the gate of hell. It is the love of God that is sending me today here. That is why I want you to make heaven. Amen? Amen. I want you, you, you to make heaven. So I will tell you the truth. As I was praying, and I told God, God, show me what is causing the nakedness, what is show, causing filthiness, what is causing the church to be dirty. As I was praying, remember the Lord showed it to me in the month of June. July passed. I want to use this opportunity for all my brothers that have revelation. Whenever he God gives revelation, pray for interpretation. Don't rush. If you have to wait for 10 years for God to give you the meaning of it, wait for it. Hallelujah. Amen. I waited. July passed. August. God now revealed to me. From point A to Z. He started from the beginning, from the top in the church. I saw in this revelation. In this revelation, I saw a pastor. I went into this pastor's house. I said to Pastor, Hello, sir. I am thirsty. I was so thirsty. I need water to drink. The pastor now said, Oh, in the backyard, there is a garden. There is a well of water. Go and fetch the water. Quench your thirst. Now run. Here I am standing before the well of water. As I'm about to take the water and drink, a voice spoke and said, Stop. There is a strange power inside the well. And I went back. I look at the way. I look at the way. There is strange power present in this world. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself in the name of Jesus. My heart was praying. I prayed. I prayed. As I was praying, I saw a spirit coming out from that way. A woman. She came out like this. What do you want from me? She asked me, I'm coming here to drink water each time. I am thirsty. So, you are in this bed? Say yes. I am here. Only anger arrested me. I stop my prayer.
sur les chaises. Comme partout, ton gana, les tous Cohen, c'est ça out. Ça c'est clair. Si partout. Which 
the Lord God has made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, yes. Listen very well. He went to the woman. When God had given instruction, he now said, Yea! How many people are doing it in Nigeria too? Yay! Yay! Ah! Who don't you? Has God really said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now the woman said, Yes! The Lord said, We may eat of the fruit, the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said that you shall not eat it. You shall not go eat of it. Neither sh you don't even have to touch it. Because the day you touch you die. So I said, who told you that one? You will not die, huh? You people are dead. You are just eating the word of God, the word of God like this. You just say you will die. You will go to hell. Who told you? That is the same strategy today. And Satan will not go to the pastor direct. He will use the women in the church. Because he knows that majority of the people in the church are women. If he gets all the women, the women will tell their husband, the husband will tell the pastor, and the pastor, because he wants to keep the member. Do you understand? So, Satan used women to destroy the plan of God. That's why we women. I want the woman to read first Peter chapter 3, verse 1. First Peter chapter 3, I will read in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Likewise, the wife be in subjection to your own husband. That if any obey not to the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of their wives. Do you know the meaning of this verse? It means that if a man cannot hear the word of God. If a man refuses to obey the word of God, God has given power to the woman to bring that man to Christ. Do you understand? God has deposited in the woman that ability to win her husband to God, even without God. That supernatural power God has placed in a woman to be the attention of a man, even without a word. Am I lying? Today, if a woman wants to be a man, yeah, she will do it. She will do it. Solomon, that was the wisest man in the world, he said in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. Behold, I found more bitter than death. I found more bitter than death. The woman whose heart is near and vexed. The woman whose heart is near and whose hand are fetters. Whose hand are fetters. The who please God shall escape from her. Only the one that please God can escape that kind of woman. But the sinner shall be trapped by her. But the sinner will fall into her trap. This is. Solomon, Solomon, he has experience. He has 700 wives and 300 Now, it is time the men in the church open their eyes. It is time the men stop saying that woman has nothing to do. If you neglect the women in the church, if you don't preach them the undiluted word of God, they will allow Satan, Satan will preach to them. If you don't preach the truth to women, because men, women want to know, she will be asking you, why do you preach there? That was a mistake Adam did. If Adam took time to explain to Eve, if not to me, he just said it like that. He never went deeper. If you don't explain the word of God to your wife, Pastor, if you don't explain the word of God to the women in the church, they will, they will believe to what Satan is telling them. And they will begin to practice it. And then it will affect the church. Women we have that natural capacity to change men. For instance, you don't need to go to a man 
You will see a woman in the street. Only the way she walks like this will make that man fall. You don't have to go to a man that, please, I love you. No. It is the man that will say, sorry, I just saw you. I can't resist anymore. Without a word. Satan has, is using it now to, to destroy everything. Complete Holiness Broadcasting Network, CHBN, on my TV cable network on the Hosanna platform with evangelists Claire and Dune Atongo from the hours of 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. every Monday from the 14th of November 2016. It is a must watch as you get lifted with inspirational music and entertaining dramas and also get updated with news from around the globe. You can't afford to miss the prayer time with evangelist Claire and Dune Atongo. Get inspired, get lifted, get informed and remain rapturable on CHBN. Preparing the church for heaven in complete holiness. Jezebel was able to steer the heart of Adam. Ah. It becomes like a woman. Jezebel, first King chapter 21. There was no one else who had devoted himself so completely, doing wrong in the Lord's sight as Ah. All the arguing of his wife Jezebel, he committed the most shameful sin by worshiping idols. As the Amorite has done, whom the Lord has driven out of the land as the people of Israel advanced. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that, but there was no one like Ahab, which did send himself to walk with and wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezebel his wife tear up. You will see a man of God serving God. But the day he get married, the wife will just make that ministry to fall. Do you understand? Jezebel was able to make Ahab fall. The man who said that he sold himself. Delilah. Delilah. He takes Samson for nine good days. Samson succumbed to her tears, to her womanly. The Philistines were able to destroy Samson. Samson, the giant man, was able to fall because of a woman. The latter. The same thing. A great man of God like Abraham. That had encounter with God. Sarah was able to tell Abraham to go and sleep with another woman. That is why. Please, Pastor. That thing that you are calling taboo. That thing that you call it does not matter. God say it matter. It matter. That evil spirit is because of the women. Hallelujah. Now, nah, pastor. Uh, you remember in that revelation I was thirsty. I was hungry for the truth. And I went to the pastor. The pastor directed me to the well. It is what you think. Hallelujah. If you drink a polluted drink, polluted uh, water, you will have diarrhea. You will have all kind of sickness. But God saw I was thirsty before I drink. He warned me. Hallelujah. Yes. When you draw night, God, God will draw night to you. He will not forsake the righteous. In I now I was looking for the truth. This is what happened. You know, as a prostitute. I do everything like a prostitute. But not that I'm in Christ. I've given my life to Jesus. It's not enough. I need a pastor to tell me the truth. That's why pastor rebuke. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. Preach the word. Reprove. Rebuke. Absorb. When Jesus saw the rich man, he told the rich man, look. Because the rich man said, I have observed all the commandments. But Jesus said, yes, it's good. But this thing is lacking. Go and sell everything. Jesus had the boldness to tell him the truth. But today, pastors have told themselves blind. Satan has blinded them. 
because of the belly, they refuse to tell the truth. They want to keep member in the church, and people are going to hell. God saw my heart. I made up my mind that even if there is only one people in the, one person in Ireland, I will be among this one. I will not go to hell. In my ignorance, because God saw that I was thirsty, He now explained to me the meaning of that prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. I was walking on the street. He did that. I was singing. I am God. 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 I he saw me, he said, let me tell you, all this fire, 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 the fire will quench. I give you two years. I was born again like you. But yeah, this hero, born again never walk. He don't walk. Yeah, that fire will die. I said, look, maybe you never come across as a born again. Me, I am a genuine born again. So I was, I want everybody to know I'm born again. If I will tell you, I will repeat it for you to hear very well. As I was walking on the street like a pop stop in the middle of the road. Ah! I said to tell you, you are a liar. That is how they used to call me when I was in the world. Now I am in Christ, a new creature. There is nothing in me that looks like a prostitute. Hallelujah. That day, I was singing. Some white lady in front of me looking at me as if can't you see they are calling you? And I said, Maybe it's somebody that knows me in the church. And then we are not torn and look at you. He said, Come, 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 come. I'm not close. He opened the door. I hate that. I said, Why, my brother? He said, Oh, my God. Hi, what is your name? He was looking for pen, no, a driver looking for pen and paper. What is your name? Give me your number. Give me your number. Ah, you are sexy. Me, turn around. I turn around. 
She was laughing. She said, don't leave me at all. She said, it is this that made the boss to stop in the middle of the room. I said, what? This? What? This? You? I look at myself. She said, look at your head. I touched my head. I said, what's wrong with my head? She said, look at your head. Do you know the kind of hair I was carrying my head that day? One side, I cut it off. I shaved one side like this. And then I took a uh, quick one. And I placed here like this. If you look, I have three holes. One big yelling, two, three. And then here, one, two, three. If you look at my skin, I am telling you the truth that the Lord has sent me here to tell you that in heaven no unclean shall enter the kingdom of God. This is how I used to look. That was me. I was like a white woman. Even when I gave my life to Jesus, Women who go back to 
they all will get close. Now, listen very well. God has changed a prostitute to come and preach you the truth. Pastors have been preaching the truth. The Lord has been picking to pastors. They have rejected. Now God has raised a prostitute, transformed that prostitute to come and speak to the church. He that has a name, let him hear. If you, woman of God, you don't transform, I, the Lord will use me on that day to judge you. The Lord will use me. Now, there's this deception in the church where people say, God will not look at the appearance. Uh -huh. Have you heard that? Yes. Have you heard that? Yes. And let me tell you, if God called a meeting and told all the big men of God in the church today, who is fit to do this kind of work? Who is fit to do this kind of work? What I'm doing now? They will teach one lady that I've never known a man. Am I lying? They will teach some, they will choose somebody that is graduated. Am I lying? They will teach, they will choose somebody that know how to speak. But God chose a prostitute. He chose somebody that's not graduated like you. I don't care whether you laugh at my English. As my friend, I am here to tell you, without holy, you will not see. That is the very truth. You like it, we take it. If you don't like it, leave it. On that day, the Lord will use me to give you. Yes. The time has come, Jesus is preparing the church. And he will make sure you know the truth before you die. So that on that day you will not say I never knew. They now say, go and look at the outward appearance. Hear this church. Whenever God wants to choose somebody to do his service, he will choose even a madman. He will choose a boy. Some people I went to South Africa and preach. There was a great revival. After I left, the pastor said, How can God use a woman that has tattoos? God will use a woman that has tattoos. He used anyone. He does not look at the appearance. He does not look at the degree. He does not look at the title. He chooses because he sees what is ahead. Because 
everything in heaven is perfect. The angels are perfect. God himself said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, he said, What? Can God tell you to be perfect when you know that you cannot be perfect? So after giving your life to Jesus, you must be perfect. You must seek for the perfection of God. It is a pity that at this season, flesh in your character. You confess today, you take the soul. Lord of Jesus, you go like the soul, then you back with it. You confess the back with the soul. Confess the back with the soul. Jesus said, you have been bumping for many times. Now I want to raise you. I want to raise you. My work must raise you so that I must present you in a perfect without being Now, after that, the Lord has shown me the last revelation. One more. I was standing in the cloud with the angel of God. He now showed me how a woman was dressed. He showed me two women that started before me. These women got discouraged. And he said to me, you are the third woman. Go. Make sure you don't do the same mistake like these two women. That's what I mean. Why I'm standing, I will not miss them because of you. You want to insult me. You want not like me. When I go here, you want. If, but let me tell you, I've spoken. Heaven has got it. Your blood is not more on my head. Therefore, this is what the Lord said. All the women that are putting on makeup, you will not enter the kingdom of God. God has given you the natural hair. You have gone ahead. Begin to palm it. You are striving with God. Your maker said that the hair he has given to you is so ugly. Now you are going to buy the idea of Satan once again. You are palming the hair. God said, you will not enter. All these women that are praying without covering their head. I had an encounter with the Lord when the Lord was anointing me for this world. I stood on the altar. He said I should meet them. Satan was there looking, not come near. I knelt down. He took an anointing oil. He poured on my head. He said, remove his hand. He, 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 he put the bottle on my head with the anointing oil. He said, let the anointing be permanent. Take your cap, tie your head. Let your head pass so that the anointing will be me. Now, women, if a wife, take that instruction. Hallelujah. Amen. Your hair is your glory. But there is something God has put in that glory that you don't see. Cover it. And whenever you are in the presence of God, the respect you have for the Lord Jesus, cover your head. Want that put on a dumbbell. This is very well. You, you are here, maybe I did not come to convince you. I didn't come to convince you. I'm telling you the truth. Every woman that put on a dumbbell, if you don't repent, they don't, those are the property of Chester. She is asking you to pierce your ear because she knows that when you put your ear here, this side will be a judgment. But you, you went to pierce the hair. All these women are tempting the hair. God made your hair brown. He made your hair black. The Satan said he can change the color of the hair in one minute. You will not enter the kingdom of God until you throw all this attire of an alloy. You will throw all these trousers. Trousers. Any child of God that wears trousers, a woman that wears trousers. Chancer is a, an evil eye dressing. Satan is the one that brought, out, brought up the idea of a woman wearing a child. Because look, as I told you in first Peter chapter 3, the woman have that natural power to bring the attention of men even without God. So Satan knows that you wearing the child is going to bring the Lord of disaster. Because men, look at your son. Your son, my son is nine years. At his age, he said, Mommy, I'm, when I sleep, I'm wet. It is a natural, you know, natural, the, the boy who we believe. You know? Now, and when a, a, a boy, a man, see a woman private part, it make him to. That is why women don't be a stubborn boy. They don't say shamefacedness. What's the meaning of shamefacedness? 
that today women have lost it is oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh. the trouser is showing directly when a man see a woman is in trouser the first thing brother bam bam you just see a private part of the woman designed like this the back like this designed like this what are you showing to people all these things we have invited the queen of the force the mother of Arnold, the spirit of seduction and godliness in the church. The Lord has sent me to warn you today. If we don't drop all those things, He says in Romans chapter 6, verse 12. Do you see like me? Yes. If I came here and said, You, in the next six months, you become the president of the the wife of Obama. Yeah, I received it. I received the truth. God bless you. Do you think like me? Yes. Will you still invite me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Invite me, don't invite me. My next trip is Tanzania. I am going there. After there, Ghana. Ghana, Rwanda. Rwanda, Holland. Holland, Germany. I am going all over the place to tell this truth. Romans chapter 6, verse 12. Let no sin run. Let no sin be over in your whole heart. Let no sin, listen. Let no sin therefore run in what? In what? In what? The Lord telling you now, let no sin reign in your mortal body as you are sanctifying your heart. Even that body must please God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 1, and chapter 12, verse 1. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. What is the will of God for you? 12, verse 1. I receive you, dear for bread. I beseech you. I beg you. I beg you, women of God. This is God begging you. What have the Lord done to us? Does he not deserve his hunger, our hundred percent holiness? By the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. That you present your bodies. That you present your body. As a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable, acceptable unto God. Unto God. God must accept your body. Which is your reasonable service. That is the invisible service you can offer to God. Women, the waistcoat, you can see the owner. The young man, the woman told me, look, my body is for me. Surrender, um.